Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to look back at the new armors that were released with the Mist of the Veil update. I already made a meta prediction video and gave my thoughts on how good they would be and what kind of content they would fit in. But in this video, we revisit them and see how accurate my prediction was. So let's jump right in and start with the face scale set. So we have the face scale hat with the hyper focus ability. Now, originally, I predicted that this would be very viable and have usage for multiple activities for example a holy healer could use this so you have your heals uninterrupted but also for dps for example siege bow and zvz's also you have stuff like boltcasters just generally solid i felt like and would be used in a bunch of different content mostly for holy and crossbows though but yeah this ended up not being that useful it seems people aren't using it as a holy compatibly and crossbows are still not really being used or at least not in a way where you would really want this hat now this is definitely a hat i overrated and overhyped a little bit so yeah next up is fail scale robe with the wild magic ability so my prediction for this one was that it would be niche but viable in instanced content for range dps specifically so that's pretty niche and not for fives but mostly for 10v10s and 20v20s and that was pretty much spot on this does have niche applications but a very cool interaction with this is the storm shield the second ability choice is a strong counter to enemy melees with stalker jackets because they get repeatedly stunned as the stalker jacket effect keeps going on not really useful otherwise not useful for solo play or for zvz's or anything else from what i've seen at least and last but least from the face set is the face scale sandals with ethereal form which i thought damn this is useless as fuck and <laughs> It kind of is. There's just no real applications for these sandals, I feel like. It's just a really weird ability, and why would you use these or any other option, pretty much? Yeah. So, in general, from the face skill set, only the robe is viable. And again, that one is pretty niche. I think the sandals probably need a rework, and the hat probably just needs a slight buff to the numbers and, you know, shorter cooldown. But, yeah, otherwise we only have the robe that's like, sees even remote amount of play all right so next up we have the mistwalker set and so let's start off with the mistwalker hood with the immortal ability so this one i saw a lot of people hype up but i was absolutely right about this one being useless a lot of people thought of trindamir ulti and thought it's busted but albion online is a different game from league of legends You can't just lifesteal back up to full HP with 3 auto attacks. Now this was my reasoning. As a solo player, this just delays your death most times of a few seconds. It doesn't benefit your winning strategy, if that makes sense. You just die a little slower. In group content, you're using a pretty selfish item with a very long cooldown. That doesn't benefit the team, basically. And in large scale, you're better off using clerical instead. That's pretty much why I think this ability will always be niche unless the numbers on it are absolutely busted. Now, the one useful application I heard was from a friend who said you can play this like on the Bridal Fury or Galas and pop it right before doing a big clap and ensuring you don't get one shot by the enemy demon armor reflecting on you. But again, I think this is just really niche you would rather have something like a Night Helmet, Assassin Hood, Royal Hood. Like, there's just a lot of better options for the Zerg, but let's say you are an 8-3 or 8-4 Gala Clapper. Maybe there's a case to be made for it, but think of it this way. You go in and clap, let's say it drops you to 1 HP. Are you reasonably going to get away from a Zerg while being 8-4 at 1 HP? Like inside an enemy zerg if you actually got reflected down to 1 HP. You're very unlikely to get out of that situation. Like you're stuck inside the enemy. Unless you get like heals perfectly on time. I just don't think it will save you. I would rather have a night helmet. And just focus on not trying to reflect yourself you know. Not trying to hit on an enemy reflect. No matter how you spin it. 
I think even in the best case scenarios, it's just not that good. Unfortunately, I will need some heavy buffs to actually be viable. Next up is Mistwalker Jacket with the Mist Cloud ability. Now, this one is pretty interesting, but I think what's stopping this one from seeing more play is just the cooldown being too long. But if you make the cooldown shorter, it might be too OP. It's weird. The issue with most of these is, as you'll see, there just isn't a specific content you would want to use this for, I feel like. You could use this as a pseudo assassin jacket and mist or corrupted dungeons, uh, flank bomb squad with this and ZVZs, but why? It's just really hard to give up a chest slot for what's essentially a fancy soldier helmet. It's not really as good as I thought it would be. I thought it would see more play, but it doesn't really see play anywhere, I feel like. Next, we have Mistwalker shows with the after image. So, another pretty cool ability, but not really useful. My prediction was that the only content these shoes would be viable for is instanced content, like 5v5s, 10v10s, 20v20s. And even there though, these shoes don't see play. Now one potential reason that makes these worse than they would be normally is because of how dashes work in Albion Online. If you get stunned or interrupted during a dash, half the time you just snap back or you know t teleport back, Blinks fortunately avoid that completely. I don't know, just most of the time you would rather play mercenary shoes I feel like for the cleanse or just cleric sandals for a blink, so yeah, not really that good. So yeah, for the Mistwalker set, they're not really that useful, you don't really see them being used anywhere I feel like. It's kinda sad, yeah. Alright, so last we have the Duskweaver set with the plate. Duskweaver helmet with spider's thread. My prediction for this one was the only viable content you would play this in is if you're playing a dive comping Hellgates, like 5s or 10s. That's where I thought it would be the most viable pretty much, but why would you play this over Fiend Cow, Stalkerhood, Tenacityhood, Assassinhood, Night Helmet, like anything really with more impact. Also the cooldown is way too long for how little impact it has, like 20% slow, I'll make a little. <laughs> yeah. Duskweaver armor with a mythical web. I originally thought this one was going to be a lot better than it is. Might see a one off in ZVZ's parties, I thought. Would be decent in 10v10s, probably. Maybe in 20s. But it's just not that useful, honestly. You would rather have another Judy or Demon or Knight armor in ZVZs. And in 10v10s, another Judy or Knight armor would be better. In instanced content, people don't really use run on their shoes either. They mostly use blinks or dashes. So for 20s, you don't get much benefit out of this because you play around the caps. You would rather have another Judy armor or like a royal armor or soldier armor if you're a melee user. I don't know, this one just needs a buff on the slow and probably take it down to 30 seconds as the cooldown probably. I definitely overrated this one a little bit. Also, there's like this really weird cast time on it. They should probably remove the cast time, to be honest. And last, but definitely not least, is the Dusk Weaver Boots with Crush Charge. Now, this one I thought would be kind of busted in the specific subset of content where it sees play, which is instanced content, and I was absolutely right. It sees play in 20s and 10s, and it's really strong there, especially in 20s. Useless outside of that and absolutely trash in open world because you need mobility, but very strong in the content where it sees play. Not much else to say, you just bop a bunch of people into walls and they get stunned. Pretty good, short cooldown 20 seconds, really nice. So how useful are these new armors? SBI put a lot of time into these new armors. The artifacts are very rare, so surely these items would be strong and sought after. Well, if we look at an overall summary of these new armors, only one is really meta, specifically in 10s and 20s, which is the Duskweaver boots, and then the fail scale robe, which is not horrible, but I think it's niche, it doesn't deserve like a meta placing. I'm sure people will disagree with me about some of these, most likely about the Mistwalker jacket, and it shouldn't be trashed, I think people would say that, but I don't think it deserves a niche rating, but 
maybe I'm just biased here. Either way, that still leaves us with a majority of these armors being pretty much unplayable or useless, which I think kind of sucks because these abilities are really cool. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this little meta-analysis video, and I hope you have a good one.